Well, you may have seen stories of large parachuting spiders on the East Coast. Some reports say they are soon expected to spread to other parts of the country. 13 on your side's Elena Holland spoke to some spider experts to learn more about this arachnid. Imagine a red and yellow spider about the size of your palm falling from the trees. Well, that's the Joro spider, which is in Georgia. The question is, could it come here? Spiders may not be everyone's favorite. Uh, the spider has beautiful chalicera. But for Bob McAndrews. They don't call me Bob the Spider Hunter for nothing. <laughs> he's a spider enthusiast with a YouTube channel documenting his spider hunts. I have 10,400 last I looked subscribers. The Joro spider. Trichonophilia or trich trichonophilia. Came to Georgia from Asia in 2013. It's a unique spider uh, like they all are. It's very colorful. They can travel in the wind, a process called ballooning. So the spider does balloon and it can let out enough webbing that even a bigger spider can be lifted off the ground by the winds and go wherever it takes it. You don't have the ability to, <laughs> to direct your parachute, but... Uh, the spider has been living on the East Coast, but could spread West. Bob thinks it could happen. I think it has an opportunity to go West, young man, you know, our young gal. Why? Because it can handle winter like a true Michigander. This spider is known to uh, survive the cold. As a matter of fact, this spider, more than most spiders, it won't be killed by frost. Whether or not we know for sure, it's hard to say. Howard Russell is an entomologist with Michigan State University. He says the Juro spiders are big. I think they'd kill the palm of your hand. And maybe a little scary looking, but they may not be a threat to humans. You know, any spider will attempt to bite, bite if, it's, if it's threatened. Um, these have very small fangs and not likely to penetrate human skin. Overall, spiders are a crucial part of the ecosystem. Spiders are predators primarily, right? I mean, they 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 catch in and eat other insects. And Bob <laughs> says he almost hopes they do come to Michigan for that very reason. But this spider seems to see those those stink bugs as, as a delicacy. For now, it's too soon to tell if the Juro spider will make its way to the Midwest. But Bob hopes people don't run away from it if it does. You really don't have to be afraid of these eight-legged things. Oh, but they're creepy. They're crawly. They're, you know, <laughs> yeah, they're that. Uh, but they're really not out to get you. Elena Holland, 13 on your side.